it's Coach Katie from National Kids Gym, and today I wanted to record a family-friendly workout that you can do with your kids, with your baby for some extra weight. Maybe you want to do it on your own. Maybe your kid wants to do this on their own. Um, lots of options, but you can get the whole family together to do this workout. It's super easy. Uh, make sure you warm up your body first, so if you want... Do this after you guys will go out for a family walk, a family bike ride, something like that. And then you want to get a little bit of extra fitness in. Uh, you can come home and do this. So make sure your body is warm. Do a couple uh, stretches. Do a couple uh, movements around the house. And then you can get started. I don't have a kid at home. Um, so I'm going to use my stuffed animal to help me out. So first exercise uh, we're going to do is jumping jacks. We're going to do all these exercises for time. I'm gonna lead you through one round. Um, so if you're short on time, just do one round. Get a little extra exercise in. But if you have extra time, then repeat it uh, ideally three times through, okay? Maybe you can do it up to five times, whatever the attention span is for the day. Um, but we're gonna go 30 seconds for jumping jacks, okay? So you can do these with your kid. Uh, you can do them alone. If you want an extra challenge, then take that kid and you're gonna press it up overhead. So I'll show you a couple different options in those 30 seconds. So ready, go ahead. We're gonna go out and in. So if you're alone, you're just doing those jumping jacks. If you want an extra challenge, you're gonna do a star jump. So you're gonna to try to jump everything up together, try and jump nice and wide. If you have a child at home, then you can take that child and press it up overhead. Get some extra shoulder work in while you jump in and out. If that's too much and you want to take the impact out, then here's your option. So you have lots of options. Just keep moving. You have three, two, one, freeze. Excellent. So catch your breath. The next exercise we're going to do is squats. So we're going to sink down low, keep the weight in our heels, and push that butt back. Ready? Go ahead. So sit down nice and low. Squeeze your glutes on the way up. So sink down, squat, and back up. So if you have a kid at home, here you go. Pick it up for that extra weight. <laughs> squat down. Keep your chest lifted, okay? Maybe you have a kid and every time you stand up, the kid has to run through your legs. Squat down low. Kid runs through your legs. Squat down low. Kid runs through your legs. If you have a baby, that baby can go up and down. You got five more seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Excellent job. Take a rest. Next exercise we're going to do is push ups. So, again, you have plenty of options for these push ups. You can do them on your toes, on your knees. You can put your baby down in front of you and give it kisses every time. Maybe you have a little kid who wants to go on your back. Just be safe. So, 30 seconds of push-ups. Let's get started. So up on your toes. You can go down, give your baby a kiss, and push back up, okay? So again, maybe you have a kid who would like to run underneath your belly every time you push up. Maybe you have a kid who wants to sit on your back if they're not too heavy. So again, keep your body in that nice straight line. Core is nice and tight. Five seconds, four, three, two, and one. Rest. Excellent. Our next exercise is gonna be for our core, okay? So we're gonna lift our knees up at perpendicular. If you have a baby or a kid and you want the extra challenge, you can have them sit on your knees or lift your feet up if they're not too heavy and we're just going to crunch okay so again if you have that baby sitting here on your knees you can come all the way up and give them a nice little kiss all right or you can have your toddler sitting on your toes and shouting instructions at you one more sit up ready go ahead so we can come up to our knees give your baby a kiss or maybe it's just a little crunch here Okay, so it's up to you all the way up and down all the way up and down or just little crunches. You can even mix it up, up and a little one all the way up and a little 
one. So get your kid involved. Show them that working out can be done together and can be fun for the whole family. And you'll set a really great example for them. All right, rest. Our last exercise that we're gonna do is a pike push-up. So this one is for our shoulders. Um, it's almost tank top season. Summer is coming, so you have plenty of options for this uh, pike push-up. So we're gonna get into position in a downward facing dog. So our hips are up nice and high. Our hands could be a little wider than a normal push-up. So again, if you have your baby and you wanna put them right here in front of you, you're gonna lower your head down to the ground and push back up, okay? So lower your head down and push back up. Maybe you have a little gymnast in the house and you wanna make it more difficult. You guys can practice by putting your feet up on a wall and lower and push back up, okay? Or maybe you just stay here and hold for 30. All right, so you have plenty of options. Let's get started. Go ahead, so that pike push up, lower down and press back up. Keep hips up high, your toes come off the ground or maybe you wanna stay here. We only have 15 more seconds. You can try that push-up, or you can just try to keep your toes up the whole time. So it's super tricky work in those shoulders. Keep your core squeezed in. Let's go for five more seconds. Four, three, two, one. Walk it down, you could shake out those wrists. Excellent job. So if you have time and you wanna get more of a sweat on, then do this two more times. Maybe you could do it four more times. Uh, but get the kids involved and get your body moving. Um, so I hope you guys are staying fit, staying active.